All right, I'm going to show you that prostitution, the sin of prostitution, destroys and defiles nations. So first, going to cover a few scriptures. Number one, God warned that prostituting your daughter and that prostitution would cause the land to fall into wickedness. Leviticus chapter 19, verse number 29. You might notice my cat in the background. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse number 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore, lest the land fall into whoredom, fall to whoredom, and the land become full of wickedness. When you start prostituting your daughter, the land falls into wickedness, it falls into whoredom. Fornication, adultery, all that stuff. All that perverted garbage. That's what happens. God's warning about that. And sadly, Israel did not take heed to that warning. Because prostitution, adultery, and fornication defiled the nation of Israel, because they fell in the whoredom. Jeremiah chapter 3, verses 6 to 9. The Lord said also unto me, In the days of Josiah the king, hast thou seen that which backsliding Israel hath done? She has gone up upon every high mountain, and under every green tree, and there hath played the, hath played the harlot. And I said, after she had done all these things, that turned thou unto me, but she returned not, after her treacherous sister Judah saw it. And I saw, when for all these causes, whereby black backsliding, backsliding Israel committed adultery, I had put her away, and given her a bill of divorce, yet her treacherous sister Judah feared not, but went and played the harlot also. And it came to pass, through the, through the lightness of her whoredom, that she defiled the land and committed adultery with stones and with rocks, or sorry, with stocks. Sorry, I read it wrong. Um, but you see that backsliding Israel was committing, was playing the harlot, which is what prostitution is. Prostitution, in the Bible, when you hear about playing the harlot, it's referring to prostitution. Or when you hear playing the whore, it's referring to prostitution. And when Israel started doing that, they were backsliding. God refers to it as backsliding Israel. And they're committing adultery, they're committing whoredom, and they're playing the harlot. So it's defiling Israel, just like God warned about in Leviticus 19, verse number 29. And finally, uh, prostitution, the sin of prostitution, caused, God, caused God's anger against the nation of Israel. Hosea chapter 4, verses 6 to 14. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou that seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. As they were increased, so they sinned against me, therefore will I change their glory into shame. They eat up the sin of my people, and they set their heart on their iniquity. And it shall be like people, like priests, and so in there shall be like people like priests, and I will punish them for their ways and reward them their doings. Uh, for they shall eat and not have enough, they, can, they shall commit whoredom and shall not increase, because they have left off to take heed to the Lord. Whoredom and wine, and with and new wine, take, take away the heart. My people ask counsel at their stocks, and their staff uh, declareth unto them, for the spirit of whoredoms hath caused them to err, and they have gone a whoring from under their God. They sacrifice upon the tops of the mountains, and burn incense upon the hills, under the, pl the oaks and pulpers, and elms, because, they, the sh they, because the shadow thereof is good. Therefore your daughters shall commit whoredom, and your spouses shall commit adultery. I will not punish your daughters when they commit whoredom, nor your spouses when they commit adultery. For themselves are separated with whores, and they sacrifice with harlots. Therefore the people that doth not understand shall fall. That's what you have going on in Hosea chapter 4, verses 6 to 14. They're committing adultery. They're committing whoredom. Now, I understand that whoredom can also be referring to idolatry. But you see it's lumped in with adultery. So, they're committing whoredom, likely with false gods, and they're committing adultery. And they're playing the harlot. And it caused God's anger to come against Israel for that. He's saying, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. That's simple. So, prostitu prostitution, the sin of prostitution, defiles and destroys nations. It's a very wicked sin. It is essentially fornication and adultery. It's a form of fornication and adultery. So you ought, to, you ought to avoid that kind of stuff. You know, thankfully, when Jesus Christ was on earth, you read about how the harlots and the prostitutes and the, the uh, publicans 
followed him into the kingdom. You know, the, the, Jesus told the Pharisees, the publicans and harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. Let me try to find that verse. Make sure I have the right verse, verse reference. Just want to make sure. Yeah, it's Matthew chapter 21, verses 31 to 32, where Jesus is telling the Pharisees, the publicans and harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. So prostitutes can still get saved. Prostitution is not some kind of sin where oh, it's, it, it's like, oh, you can't get saved. You're just beyond the hope. No, they can get saved. And they need salvation because they're going down a dark path when you're getting involved in prostitution. You're getting involved in all kinds of uh, abuse, pornography, all that wicked stuff. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.